in here I'm just wearing my ruler blade and uh, turn on the follow me feature at the uh, Biba Pro So here it's following me alright, uh, but I think up to this point uh, uh, I lost the signal. So as you can see I'm just turning back, trying to uh, regain the, uh, the signal and uh, carry on with the test. So of course I edit out the part I'm trying to regain the control of the drone. Uh, right now I got everything ready so I'm just about to uh, carry on with the test. So I believe the altitude I was setting at the uh, 18 meters and the distance is about uh, 11 or 12 meters. So that's, uh, that's the setup. And uh, I think at this point I was using the, uh, instead of using the follow me, I was using the uh, uh, track me mode. So as you can see, the drone is still following me, but it wasn't able to center me in the in the frame. Uh, so it's following me, following me alright, but uh, I think it kind of just lost me. I uh, like didn't lost me in the way, but uh, it just couldn't find, just wasn't able to put me in the middle of the frame. So from here on, it seems like the drone was able to uh, put me in the, at least, maybe not in the center of the frame, but at least in the frame, so you can see me rollerblading. So at this point, I decided to turn back, uh, finish up the test. The phone I'm using is iPhone 6. I even removed the protection case, uh, hoping to get a better Wi-Fi signal. But I guess the, um, the problem is I'm, I'm kind of like testing it in the residential area where there's a lot of Wi-Fi signal, right? Because every house that you see, they have their own you know, wireless internet. So that could be the reason that's kind of like interfering the, the the test a lot of a lot of time um, I wasn't able to uh, f uh, have a good connection with uh, with my Bebop too, and uh, I have to uh, kind of like like you know rollerblade to the to the Bebop too and trying to regain the um, the control. Uh, so that kind of troubles me. So I suppose if you're using the open field, um, I'm with the four. I'm sure you can get a much much better signal than I am in the residential area.
So to me, this part is the uh, this is the money shot. It looks awesome. Looks fantastic. So in here, I'm about to uh, kind of like lost my signal here. Uh, and maybe that's because the SDI is coming at me. Sorry, bad joke. Uh, anyway, I wasn't able to get the result that I want, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's because I'm testing in the residential area. If you are in the field or you are the only Wi-Fi signal there, I'm sure you will probably get a much, much better result. So a couple hours after the previous test, I decided to go out again because, as you can see, it's um, it's it's the weather is nicer. Uh, okay, I can see um, like the sun's coming up, so I thought I should probably do another test because uh, the the one that I did before um, it's pretty cloudy, so maybe that affect the GPS or whatnot. But uh, unfortunately, the the second test, uh, the result is pretty much the same with the first one. Uh, take a look. So at the same corner here, I decided to turn back. The altitude here uh, is still 80 meters, same with the last test. Uh, but the distance, this time I changed it to 10.5 meters from 12 meters. So that's why uh, in this video you can see I'm a little bit larger than the previous test. Uh, I also download the app from Pirate. It's called Free Flight Pro because they also have the follow me mode there. Uh, they use uh, GPS plus the uh, uh, image tracking. Uh, I try it. It just doesn't work. Okay, it, it tracked me for like a second or two, but as soon as I stand up, uh, start rollerblading, it just lost me. So I guess um, um, Bebop Pro will be my go-to app if I want to use the follow me mode. Um, the um, the Free Fly Pro uh, just doesn't cut it. It just just couldn't track me for some reason. So as you can see, the, the drone stopped following me right about here. And if you remember from the previous test, the drone stopped here as well. So I don't know why both tests, uh, the drone stopped at the same place. Maybe because this area is Wi-Fi dead zone, or it could be all the devices are having issue receiving GPS signal at this particular session of the road. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but anyways, you can see I'm uh, rollerblading back, trying to regain control of the drone, but only this time I wasn't able to, so, so, so the drone actually fly back to where I first launched it. 
Anyway, there you go. Uh, this is my test of uh, the free fly mode using Beepa Pro. I don't know why I wasn't able to get like a smooth, you know, follow me like people showing on the on, on the video on the YouTube video. You, you can see people was riding the bike or driving a car. Uh, the Beepa just follow them flawlessly. I don't know why it didn't happen. And my test, uh, I, I I believe it's probably because I'm doing it at the residential area where there are a lot of interference. So it may be in the open field, you have better shot. But anyway, uh, those are my review. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye bye.